Hi everyone, welcome to Mamascraft. Today, we'll learn how to create a grizzly bear mask. But be very careful, because this costume can be a bit wild. To create, we're going to use black and brown cardboard. We're also going to download and print the templates. So you have the link in the description and in the comments. There you can also choose the size of the mask and see in detail how to cut out the pieces and how to fold them. As you can see, here we already have the mask pieces. We're going to start using pieces 1, 2 and 3. We'll put glue on the flaps that pieces 2 and 3 have and then we'll join them to shape the two fangs that our bear mask has. Piece 1 is the nose, so we'll glue it with the other two pieces. Joining these parts we would complete the trunk and fangs of our brown bear. The following pieces are a couple of details for the mask. We'll glue piece A under the nose to separate the fangs a bit and piece 4 in the lower part of the mask will finish forming the chin. We'll continue using pieces 5, 6 and 7. So we'll put glue on piece 6 and join it with piece 5 and then we'll join it with piece 7. In the end, we would have one big piece that we'll glue on this part of the mask. We'll join it from side to side to build the eyes of our grizzly bear. This part is totally optional. You can cut two small circles of black chiffon fabric and use it for the eyes. This fabric allows you to see through it and the bear's eyes will look black on the outside. We'll glue it on the inside of the mask. Pieces 8, 9 and 10 will join in the same way as the previous three pieces. We'll join them and glue them part by part on our mask to create the forehead of the bear and to move forward with our design. With parts 11 and 12 we'll create the ears of the bear. So we'll start using part number 11 to create the right ear. Basically we'll put glue on the flaps that it has and we'll join them to form it. Once ready we'll paste it on the right side of the mask. As expected with piece 12, we'll repeat the same process. First we'll join its flaps to form the other ear that will have the mask. And when we finish forming, it will join it this time on the left side. Next, with these two pieces we'll begin to build the final part of our mask. So we'll start by joining these two pieces to form a single one, and then we'll add it to this part of the design. We're already very close to finishing the mask. These three pieces are the last ones that we'll add. If you got to this part of the video give me a like to let me know that you like the design, and to motivate me to continue creating. I want to make a sloth mask so let me know if it is a good idea or what other design would you like. As you could see, these last three pieces just had to be joined together and added to the design. And now we have our grizzly bear mask completely finished. Remember that you can support this content by joining Premium Mamascraft, and you can download any template from the channel without ads. Thank you very much for watching the video.